Hi, thank you for joining me for today's process video and today once again I'm using the beautiful joyful notes from Pink Paisley. Uh, I've got three photos from our trip to New York in December and these are of our um, visit to Radio City in the evening when we went to see the Rockettes. So I've already done one or two layouts using um, from this evening but these are the final photos that I wanted to record. So you can see that I've just grabbed some purple paint and um, it's just an acrylic model paint and splotted it across my page to create two strips, one at the bottom where I'm going to have the photo of the four of us, and then one at the top, uh, which is going to hold the other two photos of the outside of Radio City. So now I'm coming in with some, um, it's just cardboard and my gold texture paste from Vicky Booten. I'm just adding some lines across that purple. I just wanted to bring the gold in to show the gold of the sign of Music Hall from Radio City Music Hall. And then when I've done that, I'm going to come in with some pink paint. Um, this is from the, oh, sorry, first of all, some texture paste, just to add a little bit of white um, using my palette knife, just to scrape that across just a little bit, just to bring something else in. And then you can see I've got that watercolor paint from Vicky Booten again, and I'm just going to splatter that across and add some lines just to bring that pink in that you can see in the photo, well, you'll be able to see in the photos when I bring them back. So this is the base of my layout. I really wanted to create my own base. I'm enjoying doing that at the moment. So just adding a bit more water to get some big splodges and then I shall put this to one side to dry. Just using my brush to help that one. <laughs> and some of this will get covered, but that's fine. So because this is a musical, I'm going to use my music paper and one of the new dies that we've got at Hey Little Magpie to um, create a torn edge across that music. And then I'm going to use it to back my photos as well. So just making sure that they're on the music part, the script rather than just on the blank so that the music notes show. And then I'll tri trim that out. And I just picked this up at a local charity shop. But I thought it would be a good opportunity to use it. So just using my scissors today and getting that trimmed out. Almost there, I should have cut some of this out, sorry. <laughs> so there we go, there are those two top photos. And then I've got the one of us at the bottom as well. There. So um, I've just torn a strip of paper there to add to the bottom photo and I've got this film strip frame from 49 and Market Spectrum Gardenia that I wanted to use just as a layering piece with that photo of us. And then this is the last long piece of film strip I've got from that Spectrum Gardenia collection that I'm just adding there. Now this is a little die, a sneak peek of a die that's coming to Little Magpie soon. It's another border die that we've got coming. Um, I just cut it in black cardstock. So I'm just matting the photo of us in white just to provide a border because it's quite busy um, with everything, all the mixed media going on down there. So I just wanted to add a little bit of a white border. And I am going to take this photo ever so slightly off the page because it's the same size as the ones at the top. I wanted to make it appear slightly smaller somehow. So just using my distress tool to distress the edges of this paper. It's not particularly easy because it's quite a flimsy paper, but I do get there. <laughs> It just tends to fold and roll rather than um, distress the edges. So it just takes a little bit of care to do that. There we go. So still messing around. Decided to move that um, black border strip to the bottom, which you'll see shortly. It's just off to the left of the page at the moment. But I've got that music strip that I cut with the um, torn edge border die from Hey Little Magpie. And here's that new one coming in there. And I'll tear the edge off because it's a little bit too long for what I want here. So just adding the glue and getting that tucked under and then I can tear off the bit that I don't need. And then that music strip piece that will go on top. And then I can sort out how I want the photo to go. So this um, Pink Paisley Joyful Notes is perfect for these photos because there are some gorgeous jewel tones almost. Um, you'll see as I bring the ephemera pieces in, they all work really nicely. 
with these photos. It's a beautiful collection. I think it's been quite overlooked. I don't think many people have seen it yet. So um, I wanted to use it to showcase it because it really is gorgeous. So just getting these photos stuck down and then I can start embellishing. I'm still embracing my ATG, <laughs> as you can see, for these big bits anyway. So bringing in some of the tickets from 49 and Market. This is the uh, silver grey colour. And I'm actually going to trim that in half and use half at the top there and half at the bottom. I talk about this all the time in my videos, but I tend to try and mirror things. If I'm doing something on one side of the layout, I'll try and mirror it on the, right, on the other side just to um, get some continuity across the page. So, as I say, just tucking that other bit in and I decide I want that half, that semicircle in the middle between the tickets to be stamp, sticking out of the photo. So that's why I turn that round. And then these are all the ephemera bits. I've got both. There are two ephemera packs in this collection. I've got both of them just chucked into that box there. So this is a little vellum piece that's got some gold ends and I just thought that would look cute there. And then I love this orange piece but I just it's too big so I end up just cutting slivers to add it as bits to tuck behind the photo so a little bit at the bottom there and then I'll bring some more into the top so just tucking that in under there and as I say this top piece and again just using a sliver because I don't need to use a full piece distressing the edges with my fingernails and then getting that tucked under and then I wanted some tags because I wanted to join the top photos to the bottom very subtly just by using the wax twine that I'm going to add through the tag holes. So I just pulled those two out and then I saw this title that says hello and I thought, oh, that would be really nice next to the photo of us. So I'm going to use that. Now, this label piece is a lovely purple. So I just thought I'd use that as um, a bit just to tuck in around the two clusters. So half at the top there and just tucking it in carefully to um, cover that little orange flower which I didn't need. A tab at the top just to bring some black in up there and then that's the other half of that label piece. I will trim it down a bit because these things are stuck down quite well so <laughs> I couldn't tuck it down very far so just trimming um, a little bit more off the end to get it situated. Just fiddling about to try and get it under there. And then working out exactly where I want that title to go before gluing that down. So now I'm going to work on these tags. And obviously I don't need that much. Um, there was a, There were huge tags. So I'm just going to trim off the ends and tuck them under. And I decided to have the pink on the left hand side and that um, more neutral one on the right. This is just a little banner piece that I thought looked cute. So just adding that to the horizontal strip going across the page. And then I spy these. This is my favourite part of these ticket pieces, the arrows and the photographs word. So we're going to add the arrows to that orange block there. I will move it down. I don't know why I put it at the top. And then photographs to the right hand side of the two. And I love how they look on there. So just getting those glued down as well. And I like how those arrows are pointing down to that photo of the four of us as well. So just getting those tags glued down and then going through the sticker sheet to see what I can find on here. And I just find this little blue word that says love and then the um, one with the gold foiling that says good vibes that's going to go on that tag. So now with some wax twine just through those tags and as I say I just want them to join up with that photo at the bottom so it just drags your eye down to the bottom so I'm just going to tuck the ends underneath that frame and that joins the two. Obviously I haven't glued the tags down very well so I'll have to go back and do that and that also holds that wax twine in place as well. So now the alphabet stickers from this collection they're those lovely foam stickers that American Crafts do so well and I'm just going to spell out Radio City and the last thing is some gold splatters using my gold watercolour paint and that's the layout done thank you so much for joining me I really hope you've enjoyed this and it's given you some ideas for creating your own background it's ever so easy and fun and it's just white cardstock so if it doesn't work <laughs> just bin it or turn it over and use the other side Thank you again and I shall see you very soon. Bye.